please subscribe. Range Rover SV Autobiography Dynamic was built for buyers who seek a luxuriously appointed SUV with enhanced performance capabilities. Rather than leave this tiny subset of buyers looking upmarket toward the Bentley Bentayga for a premium performance full-size SUV fix, Land Rover turned to SVO to create and assemble the Range Rover SV Autobiography Dynamic A Gentleman's Express, in Stanton's words. What this translates to in the real world is remarkably accurate and precise steering offset by a slightly firmer ride. The car we drove rode on huge 22-inch wheels, 21 inches are standard, wrapped in 275-40 Continental Cross Contact LX Sport tires with foam liners to reduce noise, yet the ride still felt more refined than that of the Range Rover Sport SVR, with harsh impacts being heard but rarely felt. Highway travel is predictably serene, and traversing tight and twisty roads and two tracks in the British countryside presented no undue challenges beyond the usual minor weirdness we Yanks experience when driving on the left side of the road in a right-hand drive vehicle. Above all, the suspension improvements reduce roll in corners, which in turn makes maintaining speed through, say, a roundabout an easy and less concerning proposition. In the unlikely event an owner should press a Range Rover SV Autobiography Dynamic into serious off-road service, they'll find a useful maximum of 11.4 inches of ground clearance and the ability to ford bodies of water up to 35.4 inches deep. The supercharged V8 in the Dynamic is calibrated to produce 550 horsepower and 502 lbft of torque, just like in the non-Dynamic SV Autobiography and the Range Rover Sport SVR. Gear swaps come by way of a ZF-supplied 8-speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters. An open stretch of road and at least partial assurance that we had escaped the eye of the U.K's ever-present speed cameras gave us confidence to explore the full travel of the accelerator pedal, which revealed the same smooth, low-end supercharged tug that we've come to love in the Range Rover Sport. The company quotes a 0 to 60 mph jaunt of 5.1 seconds, but we suspect our own test drivers will be able to shave off a few tenths. Either way, the sensation is nothing short of a rocket-propelled cabin cruiser, one that plows through wakes rather than bouncing off them. Give it full boot and the accompanying soundtrack from the bright silver quad exhaust pipes is melodious, yet engine noises nearly disappear under light throttle, allowing the operator to masquerade as a responsible adult. Although the theme of the SV Autobiography Dynamic leans toward understatement, there are a few interior and exterior details to distinguish this model from the rest of the lineup. Red Brembo brake calipers make their first appearance in the top of the line rangey here, previously, they were offered only on the Sport, and the side vents, grille, front bumper accents, tailgate trim, and Range Rover script all are rendered in a graphite atlas finish. Interior details include diamond quilted upholstery with contrast stitching, a perforated ebony headliner, and grand black veneer on the dash and door panels, the latter accented in red. The rotary shift controller, start slash stop button, and pedals feature a knurled finish, and the aluminum shift paddles are anodized in red with all interior color schemes with the exception of 10. Land Rover which seems to have perfected the art of adapting current models to fill tiny niches, now has an entry in the emerging but limited market segment of megabuck SUVs that go like muscle cars and stick in corners like, well, really large clubrooms balanced on spectacularly engineered suspensions. With an MSRP of $171,990, it undercuts the least expensive Bentley Bentayga by more than $60,000, the $200,945 non-dynamic, LWB Range Rover SV Autobiography placed second to the Bentayga in a recent comparison test, while it is itself nearly $50,000 more than the $125,025 Mercedes AMG GLS 63. Land Rover is betting its heritage as the torchbearer for understated style and class will appeal to those who fall between those endposts on this rarefied spectrum.
please subscribe.